fix the pump to the IV pole. Connect the power cable. Install the drip sensor place note the direction. Long press the power button to start. We come back to the menu by press menu return to the system setting. Press enter. We can set the parameter here. If you want to confirm the drip sensor status, find it here. Make sure it is on when you use drip mode. Bubble sensors can sensitivity can change here. Now we install the drip sensor, make sure the liquid lower than the line. Double click and keep hold the bolos button. Then we can start the calibration from the system setting. Find the IV set parameters. Make sure it become enter. Then press enter. Now we connect the IV set with a 10 ml syringe. So we set the refer number which will be related to this IV set brand. For example, we set U3. Check the IV set type is 20 drip or 60 drip. Normally, we don't need to change the test speed and test volume. Then we press start. When it reaches 10 ml in syringe, press the start pulse button. It will show test finished means calibration successfully. The calibration value is for the brand of every set. Now we come back from the manual return button. If the pressure reaches the limit, it will give you approaching alarm. If you want to cancel the alarm, press pause. If start without closing the door, it will show door open. If during the infusion open the door, will give you door open alarm. If any button not released or defected during self-test, it will cause ER1 alarm. We can release the alarm here and restart. Take out the drip sensor when we use the drip mode. After 3 ml, it will start alarm. If we have bubble, we start. When it's inside the sensor, will alarm. Long press power button to shut down. Make sure machine is shut down. Take off the power cable. Take off the drip sensor. Take off the clamp. When cleaning the machine, pay attention to the power socket, drip sensor socket, door handle, 
and the palm fingers.